हेलो स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज आशीष टी पाटिल फ्रॉम डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ मैकेनिकल इंजीनियरिंग के आई कॉलेज ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग कोल्हापुर वी आर डिस्कसिंग द कंसेप्ट ऑफ टोटल क्वालिटी मैनेजमेंट एंड लास्ट टाइम वी हैव सीन द कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन ऑफ वेरियस क्वालिटी गुरुज इन दैट कॉन्टेक्स्ट वी आर टूडे गोइंग टू डिस्कस द कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन मेड बाय अनादर क्वालिटी गुरु दैट इज फिलिप बी क्रॉस बी Now Philip B. Crosby is internationally known quality expert who is best known for popularizing the concept of zero defect. He has proposed fourteen different steps towards achieving total quality management. What are those fourteen steps? The first one is management commitment. Second one is the quality improvement team. third is quality measurement aspect then the concept of cost of quality quality awareness corrective actions then zero defects planning quality education concept of zero defect day goal setting error cause removal recognition to the employees quality councils and last step is do it over again so let us see these 14 steps in detail the first step crossby proposed is the management commitment now there is a need for quality improvement in every organization and for that purpose the management commitment is always prioritized the management of any organization should lead by example they should follow all the steps which are required for quality improvement so in that aspect the commitment from management aspect comes first and with that commitment the entire aspect of total quality management can be easily percolated throughout the organization next point is quality improvement team now when you see this concept of team what is try to say is that representatives from each and every department though it may be production assembly dispatch quality marketing sales service okay all these departments the people from all these departments should come together and they should form a quality improvement team now you may say why a person from service is required in this team now for that reason service is one such important aspect for any organization and customer satisfaction will always based on this service so service quality is also important therefore from all the sectors or all the departments the people from all the departments should be involved in this quality improvement team next aspect is quality measurement so the status of quality should be determined throughout the company so for that reason you should establish quality measures in each and every activity where you need the quality aspects where you need the improvement and by collecting all such small small improvements you will achieve the entire quality and ultimately it will lead to the productivity so therefore it's the requirement that you should have the corrective action at all such necessary stages so that is the aspect of quality measurement next aspect is cost of quality evaluation last time we have seen various costs of quality so cost of quality is not an absolute performance measurement what it tries to say rather what it indicates is where the action necessary to correct a defect will result in greater profitability so cost of quality when we talk about it always helps in taking the actions which are necessary to correct the various defects in overall manufacturing scenario and that will definitely lead to profitability next is quality awareness 
so it involves thorough training and the provision of visible evidences of the concern for quality improvement it also involves making employees aware of the cost of defects because once the defect arises it will definitely reduce your profitability it will reduce your productivity also so therefore it's responsibility of each and every individual to generate an awareness related to the quality of the product or quality of the service next is corrective action so people need to see the problems which are being resolved on a regular basis so therefore what it tries to say that the corrective action should become a habit whenever you will find any defect you should try to correct it at that instant itself so that habit you should develop amongst yourself and which will definitely lead to overall quality consciousness in your organization next point is establishing an ad hoc committee for the zero defects program zero defects is not a motivation program rather its purpose is to communicate and instill the notion that everyone should do things right first time for example if you are machining a pin and if it is having a tolerance of h7 then that diameter should be turned with that tolerance in its first attempt only so doing the things right first time will obviously reduce the defects and for that purpose you will then try to have those fixtures or say those tools or equipments proper which will give you the right quality at first time next one is supervisor training here all managers should undergo for a formal training on all these 14 steps which philip crosby has proposed the manager should understand all these points thoroughly and he should be in a position to explain all these steps to his subordinates or her subordinates next point is zero defect day now it is important that the commitment to zero defect as the performance standard of the company should make that impact in each and everyone's mind that our organization is following this concept they are building the products with zero defects and in that way each and every person of that organization is having that new attitude and on that basis the organization should go for such kind of days like zero defect day next point is goal setting so each supervisor here gets his or her people to establish specific and measurable goals to strive for these roles may be for 30 days 60 days or 90 days goals if the goals are larger one you can split those goals on smaller goals achieve those smaller goals first and then try to unanimously achieve the entire goal next point is error cause removal so employees here are asked to describe on a simple page one page form rather any problem they face and it is believed that such problems should be acknowledged within 24 hours so this will have a confidence in the employee that the organization is taking care of their thoughts also their problems are resolved within say specified time and this will definitely increase the morale of the employee next point is recognition now it is important to recognize each and every individual who is giving something special to its organization so in that context the organization should always provide some recognition it may not be in financial form it may be some prize or it may be some award though it may be say a photograph with ceo and publishing that photograph on display boards that may be also a recognition 
नेक्स्ट वन इज क्वालिटी काउंसिल द ऑर्गेनाइजेशन शुड बिल्ड द क्वालिटी काउंसिल विच कंप्राइजेस ऑफ क्वालिटी प्रोफेशनल एंड ऑल द टीम लीडर्स एंड दे शुड मीट रेग्युलरली टू डिस्कस द आस्पेक्ट ऑफ इंप्रूवमेंट और आस्पेक्ट ऑफ अपग्रेड टू ऑल द क्वालिटी प्रोग्राम्स द ऑर्गेनाइजेशन इज फॉलोइंग सो दिस विल ओवरऑल लीड टूवर्ड्स टोटल क्वालिटी मैनेजमेंट एंड लास्ट एंड फोर्टीन स्टेप इज डूइंग इट ओवर एंड अगेन सो ऑल दो वन टू थर्टीन स्टेप्स रिपीट दो स्टेप्स अगेन एंड अगेन सो दीज आर सम गाइडलाइंस विच आर प्रपोज बाय फिलिप क्रॉसबी टू अचीव the total quality management now based on this discussions let us pause a video and try to give this answer to this question i guess you have gone through this question and answered this question so we will stop today in next session we are going to discuss the contribution by juran thank you